In this video, we are going to further explore assignments, um, focusing more on, okay, so now I've assigned a student a, an assignment to my students, they're working on it, now what? What do I do? Or the students are finished and they've submitted assign an assignment, now what? So a couple things to note first, here is the um, here is an assignment that I created for students um, and if you click on the assignment there are three dots if you click those you're able to edit delete or delete the assignment you can also copy a link and when you copy the link you could paste this like if you use a website or send a newsletter or something like that you can send this to students and when they click on the link it takes them directly to this assignment um, an important thing to note under edit is um, you can go in and change several of the things like how many points it's worth or when it's due things like that you can add more to it you can't change once a, once a student has already gotten a copy of the document you can't change that it's already done and the student has the copy and and that's that um, another thing to note when you're creating an assignment is that you don't have to assign the assignment right away. So if you click the down arrow beside assign, you can actually schedule the assignment, which means then you can just determine when you want this, um, this assignment to go out. So you can set it as far ahead as you'd like and at whatever time that you would like. Also, if you're working on it and you run out of planning time or whatnot, you can also save it as a draft, and that will keep it in your list. It won't post it, it won't schedule it, it'll just be there for you to go back and edit at a later time. So now that the students, this text exploration is an assignment that students were assigned, um, they worked on it, you can see that it was assigned to eight students, none of them turned it in. So a lot of times I haven't been super strict about my students turning in their assignments because I can access them either way, but depending on how you use it, it can be helpful because you can see exactly who is done and who is not just by looking right at this screen. If I click on um, the view assignment, it's going to show me all the students who it's been assigned to and then it shows me all of their documents over here. So one thing that I can do is access their work and I can do this as they're working on it. So I could go in and monitor and see, okay, what has this student um, included? What, hasn't, what haven't they? What might they need work on or help with? Um, something that I would do a lot is insert comments. So just saying like, you, you know, where's your text evidence to, to support this fact or something like that. So you can do that. Also along the side, is a comment bank and basically what you can do is add a comment that it wouldn't directly apply to any specific part of the text it would just be almost like a conversation that you can have back and forth with the student so this again allows you to hop right in see what your students are doing and um, what they you know where they're at and what more work they still have left to do um, so you can also access a student individually by clicking here and then here's another way that you can add a comment to them. So a lot of times this I would just provide their feedback right here as opposed to on a document at the end when it's time to give them a score. Um, you'll notice that I made this an ungraded assignment but I can change this and make it um, out of however many points I want. Whenever I do that it's saying you know are you sure you want to? Yes. And now give it a minute to load. Now I can actually go back and give each student a grade. So right here you just simply enter it. All right, that kid has it. Um, go down the list, score them. And then what you can do is when you have them all scored or at, you don't have to do them all at once either. So right now these three are scored. I can return them to the student, which means that the student would get an alert saying that I have scored their work, that it's being sent back to them um, with comments and whatnot.